welcome. My name is Aubrey. I'm a library specialist here at Midpoint Library. And today I'm going to show you um, a recipe from one of our books called uh, Growing Your Own Cocktails, Mocktails, Teas, and Infusions. And I'm going to just start off with the recipe, just infused water, very simple. Um, and this for this recipe it calls for a cup of strawberries, and I'm going to slice those in a moment. Um, 10 large basil leaves. Um, I just grabbed a container of ba basil leaves from Kroger and two Meyer li lemons, uh, um, thin, thinly sliced, and then eight cups of water, which I have here in the pitcher. And so we'll go ahead and get started on that. So we're going to start with the strawberries. Yep, one cup of strawberries. Sliced here. And it's thinly sliced, so you know, slice off the heads there, the tops. And slice up the strawberries and just put them in the water. Slice off the green tops and then slice them. This is a very, very simple recipe. Just throw all the ingredients together and then this will spend it overnight in the fridge. Okay, so we got all our strawberries cut. I'm just gonna Throw my trash in here now. And then we're gonna just chop up the uh, basil leaves. Doesn't have to be perfect, just chop them up and throw them in there. You're just infusing the flavor in the water. Make sure to remove stems and things. My favorite combination is strawberries and, and basil. <laughs> Years ago, I discovered a jam that, was, that had that had strawberries and basil, and I haven't been able to find it again, but it was very, very good. Just chop up the leaves. Tear them up. And then throw them in there. And then the two lemons you'll also slice up thin. Right now I'm just going to cut off the ends there and try and slice them down as thin as I can. those lemon slices in there as well. Make sure the infusion is stirred up. And there we go. And then you'll just put this in the fridge overnight and then drain all the all the ingredients, the strawberries, lemon and basil, and then you'll have your infused water. So our next recipe, uh, our next mocktail is, call, is called the Salty Puppy. And it's, call, it's from the, uh, the Beginner's Guide to Mocktails. Now this book is not in our um, collection, unfortunately, but you can get it through Search Ohio. Um, so yeah, please uh, look up Search Ohio, look for this one if, if you're interested in checking it out and looking at other recipes. Um, like I said, we'll be going with the, uh, the Salty Puppy, uh, going along with the Summer Reading Club's theme, which is uh, Tales and Tales. So to start, You'll need granulated sugar and salt. And you just mix equal quantities of each. There we go. I'm just going to use a half a teaspoon here. Let's do one more. There we go. Because then you're just going to mix them. 
into a saucer or a paper plate or something. It doesn't actually go into the drink. So yeah, just mix equal quantities of salt and sugar. And then with that, set aside, you'll have your glass. And then we're gonna take our lime. Let's see here. Cut it lengthwise. And then I'm gonna cut a wedge from it. Ah, oh, this one's really juicy. Okay. Take a wedge of lime here, just get the rim. Okay. And that is what you're gonna do. Yep, and just coat the rim in the salt and sugar mixture. And then you'll need your cracked ice. So let's see. here. And then a table, tablespoon of lime juice, which since I already have my limes here, I will just squeeze. There we go. I'm trying to get as much of those juices as possible. Okay, and then you'll just pour that over the ice. And then you'll take grapefruit juice and top it off. And there you go, the salty puppy. So our next recipe is the strawberry mule. Once again, it's from the, the same book as the previous, The Bartender's Guide to Mocktails. And like I said, you can get this through Search Ohio. Um, but yeah, we're going with the strawberry mule. And to start, you'll have your, if you have a copper mug, this, this works perfectly, or a high highball glass um, will work as well. But we're gonna start with three strawberries that we're just gonna muddle at the, at the bottom of the, of the um, of the cup. So I'm just going to cut off the tops here and throw them in and then wash them up a little bit with my wooden spoon. juices out of those, squeeze them a little bit. Yeah, you're muddling them at the bottom of the glass. There we go. Okay. 
right. Let's put those aside for now. All right. And then we're going to need a fourth a cup of uh, the pineapple juice. So I have some here. All these ingredients you can find at your local Kroger or local grocery store. So yes, a fourth cup. A cup of pineapple. Mmm, that smells really good. It smells fresh. Okay, and then we'll need two table, two teaspoons, not tablespoons, two teaspoons of the uh Of the lime juice, and I only have half a tea teaspoon, so you'll just have to. Hopefully, you have a teaspoon at home. I'm just gonna try and probably use this here to catch any juices that I miss. Yeah, so I have to add four of these rather than just the two. Somehow, we lost our teaspoon. There we go. Okay. And stir to mix well, so we'll mix those. Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna add your ice cubes, fill the mug. Just make it really nice and cold. Copper really, really retains the cold. says yeah to fill the mug with the ice. Oh I can already feel that it's cold on the on the copper there. I am going to try and fill this up to near the top, but not too much. You still have to add a half a cup of the ginger beer. Yeah. There we go. All right, and that'll be a half a cup of ginger beer. Oh yeah, perfect. Didn't overdo it. Stir that. I wish I had a smaller spoon, but and then top it off with strawberry. And there you go, strawberry music.